my loves. This is probably the first ever impromptu video I have done. Last night, a few of my girlfriends and me were chatting on WhatsApp and I was suddenly reminded that we had planned a Sunday brunch at my place, Sunday being the next morning. Now, my son had surgery last week, so I was definitely distracted, but I didn't want to cancel on them either. So I thought I'd film the process of getting ready for our brunch and I would share some tips with you along the way. When you plan for a brunch get-together, consider serving the food buffet style. A buffet will keep you from jumping up and waiting on people like you would at a more formal dinner. That way you can also relax and enjoy having great conversations with your guests. I will need to hop over to the grocery store and see what I can get because I usually shop and plan in advance but I do want to do this even though it's last minute for me and I have about 4 hours to pull everything together. Before I go shopping, I want to have an idea of my table setting in case I need to buy anything else. Although we do not generally use a tablecloth for our daily meals, I think I'll dress up the table a bit. I like starting with a neutral base. I'm adding some white cushions just to make it extra cozy and to give it the neutral colour I'm going for. I'm using a white table cover but it is rather wrinkled and to make it faster I'm just going to iron it on the table itself. This is one of the reasons I love my ironing mat. It is so convenient to do these things quickly. And then I'm also adding a runner. Honest confession, these are not real runners. I bought some fabric and I had it cut to my requirements. I have been hankering for this spring look but I just wasn't getting what I had in mind. So I got some fabric instead and had it cut into runners and napkins. I plan to use this in the center to add some color. That's what I love about having a neutral palette. It can be brightened with different bits and bobs of your choice for each and every event. I'm not using placemats or chargers. This is gonna be a free flow event. No filling of plates, but a serve as you go. No separate buffet table. That sort of free flow is what I'm attempting here. And it's gonna be all about the chit chat. Since I'm using a floral runner, I don't want to add much more color. What you want to do is to alternate between white and color. Adding texture and plain adds to the complexity. Plates. I'm using these white plates that I recently got. I also showed you these recently and I'll leave you a link in the description box below if you want to see that video. And I'm layering that with the floral napkins. I had eight napkins cut to size. These are approximately 40 by 40 cm, not exactly square. In entirety, I got 1.5 meters of material and that gave me two runners and eight napkins and also some to spare. There are of course many ways you can fold your napkins, but I'm just going to go for something really simple. And I'm adding these bowls and glasses with gold rims. You must have seen this before because I've had them forever. And along with these, I'm also adding long stemmed champagne flutes. I've also had these forever actually, I'm just happy to have a chance to use them. Offer a variety of drinks. You can choose to have mimosas or you can just have water with lemon, orange juice and of course you'd want some coffee or tea. The best part about having my serving dishes in this cabinet right here is that I can actually look back and forth deciding which dishes I want to use. Another benefit of always using white dishes is they can use any or all of them for any occasion and dress them accordingly. And everything always coordinates perfectly with minimal effort. Now this is pretty much all I can do until I go to the grocery store. Last night after we ended the chat, I made a quick menu of all the possibilities and now I go see what I can get. Hi, I'm back home and it's time to set up. I have another hour and a bit. It's time to start on my charcuterie board first. Chakutri boards are easily one of the most customizable dishes in the world. You can put it together in no time at all. 
but you can also run into some mistakes while preparing. Now, most importantly, have a plan. Secondly, you want to cut everything before placing it on your board. Scratches will destroy your dish. Thirdly, it's important to have a variety of ingredients. These can be changed up each time, but there are some staples. You want to use bread or crackers. You want cheeses, soft and hard varieties, and some deli meat to begin with. You can opt for vegan deli slices as well, if that's how you go. And how many varieties and quantity will depend on the size of your chakutri. Since there are going to be six of us, this should be sufficient. And lastly, you want to add some fruits and nuts. Using a combination of these items will give you a great board every time you make it. Plus, this is a great way to show your guests you took time and patience to put together a board for their visit. You also want to put it in the fridge with only the items you need to keep refrigerated if you're doing it beforehand. I have just washed these strawberries and blueberries and instead of doing one big platter, I want to do small individual cups. A few strawberries halved and a few blueberries in each cup. I have also sorted together some sliced onions, cooked sausages and potato cubes. This is easy to prepare early and you can heat it in the microwave or in the pan just before serving. Now with just 30 minutes left, it's time to get the desserts done. The caramel sticks, which I know to be delicious, look so good in this bowl for french fries. I got some croissants, which go great with butter and jam. Also, using a tiered stand here will help vary the heights to the food and that makes it more inviting. It also serves as additional space for more food. For fruit, I'm also including grapes and oranges. A small bunch of banana mus or gold banana, which I think are known as ladyfinger bananas. And I love this because it's got the texture, it's white and it's got the gold rim. It's just going to pull all my other dishes together. And it's time to toast the waffles. I've got two flavors for the waffles, vanilla and chocolate, each to their own. And I've added some maple syrup and mini butters. In this jam bowl, I'm adding mini marshmallows with M&Ms and chocolate chips. And then shake, 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 and it looks gorgeous. And then it's time to fill the carafe with orange juice and garnish that. Mint would have been a great addition to this garnish, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any. When setting up a sit-down brunch, using similar ingredients in different dishes will help coordinate the food. Have a little sprinkle of this in that and that in this. It just makes everything flow. Strawberries and blueberries sprinkled on the dishes, mini marshmallows and cherries on Belgian waffles, all add to the whimsical of being pampered. And I do want to pamper my girls. Now, this flow of food takes it from several dishes to one single course filled with different flavors. Lay out your food from savory to sweet. Once all the plating is done, fill in any empty spots with some decor such as flowers or plants or both. I want this to be sort of casual for us to just chat and catch up. It's been quite a while. The ambience is therefore very important. Even though you are the host of this party, do your best to have a great time. Your guests will be more relaxed if they know you're enjoying the party as much as they are. I have a little trick I want to share. I always have an extra seat. This allows me to sit at both ends of the table so all my guests get my attention. I sit on one end, usually where the savory dishes are, and then I move to the other end and make sure everyone has the dessert and of course tea. So what do you think my loves? All in four hours, including going shopping. I'm pretty pleased with myself right now because I had a great time and I think my friends are going to have a great time too. It's time for me to get freshened up now because my friends will be here soon. And with that, this is Ravina saying happy homemaking. <laughs>